Go ahead and broadcast it. I'll show you. Good morning. The pastor is busy, so you've got chopped liver this morning. Uh, want to talk to you just briefly about a wonderful resource for devotions. I know Howard likes glasses in the grass and some other things. Cappy Turnip Seed and, and I have been using uh, Great Songs of Faith. There are 365 hymns. Some of them are songs that we don't very often sing in the Baptist church. And each one has a background with it. One of my favorites is one that we don't sing very often anymore. We used to sing it occasionally when I was younger. Uh, it's day by day and with each passing moment. And the background for this is very pertinent for this week since we've lost one of our pastor's wives in the association and uh, some of our pastors and their wives are uh, helping with the grief process for the pastor at Danville and we are so sorry for his loss. His wife and uh, I believe their son were involved in an automobile accident, such a tragedy. But we know even if we can't see God, even if we can't see him, physically with our eyes. We know he's working. That's the thought behind Day by Day. It was uh, written by Carolina Sandelberg, and the only versions that I could find were sung in German, so I'm not going to play it for you this morning, but uh, she uh, was a sickly kid. She spent a lot of time with her daddy in his uh, study, listening to him. He was a parish pastor in Freud in Sweden. And uh, she was sailing with her father uh, aboard a, an ocean vessel and the vessel lurched and her daddy was swept overboard and much to uh, their dismay, he could not be rescued and she saw her dad drown. What a terrible, terrible thought that must uh, bring she was already a, a published hymn writer, but this tragedy inspired her to write uh, day by day. It's based on 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9. We're pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. We need to remember that we serve a God of love and he is with us just as he was with Christ. And in his humanity, remember, Jesus cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So it's not at all unusual for humans to feel that they have been abandoned. But the truth is, we're never abandoned. He had the God of, of Israel, the God of and Father of Jesus Christ has said he neither slumbers nor sleeps, and he has promised never to leave us, but that's another hymn. And the lyrics of the beautiful hymn that Carolina Berg penned are, Day by day and with each passing moment, strength I find to meet my trials here. Trusting in my Father's wise bestowment, I have no cause for worry or for fear. He whose heart is kind beyond all measure gives to each day what he deems best. Lovingly, it's part of pain and pleasure, mixing toil with peace and rest. Every day the Lord himself is near me with a special mercy for each hour. All my cares he fain would bear and cheer me. He whose name is counselor and power, the protection of his child and treasure is a charge he on himself has laid as thy days, thy strength shall be in measure. This the pledge to me he has made. Help me then in every tribulation so to trust thy promises, O Lord, that I lose not faith's sweet consolation offered me within thy holy word. Help me, Lord, when toil and trouble meeting, ere to take as from a father's hand, one by one the days and moments fleeting till I reach the promised land. We can take courage. We can take hope. We can look up. Sometimes there are dark days as Christians, but we do not 
as Paul said, struggle as those who have no hope. We know that soon, very, very soon, our Lord will return for us. Some of us will go to meet him quicker. Some of us will go in the rapture. But be of good courage because God knows what you are doing. He knows what you are suffering. And he cares. He is touched by your suffering. Enjoy this day. We are not promised tomorrow. We are not promised our next breath. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. Enjoy this day. Look forward to tomorrow. As usual, the pastor will be back uh, in his weekly devotions. We'll see you Sunday morning for Sunday school and church. The church is open. If you can travel to join us at Crow Mountain, do so. If not, join us online. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day and God bless you.